Hi everyone! Welcome back to the CaseGuard Studio training course. In CaseGuard Studio, there are two different ways to redact audio. The first is manual audio redaction, and the second is automatic audio redaction via transcription. In this video, I will cover manual audio redaction. Let me begin by creating a new project. I will name my project Audio Redaction. Click Create. I'm adding an audio file into my project. The audio file popped up under my Project Files panel. When working on audio files, click on the Show Hide Audio Wave button to open up the audio wave. You can resize the audio wave to make it larger or smaller. To begin manual audio redaction, click on the Mute button on the left-hand side of the toolbar. Clicking on the Mute button will open up the Mute Audio panel at the bottom of your workspace. In CaseGuard Studio, there are four different ways to manually redact audio. Capture start and end time, press and hold, input the start and end time, and highlighting the audio wave. In CaseGuard Studio, there are three different audio redaction tools, including mute, bleep, and change voice. The mute feature will mute the audio. The bleep feature will bleep the audio and the change voice will disguise the voice of the person speaking. Let's get started. The first way to manually redact audio is the capture start and end time. Here, I can click the hand next to the start time to capture my start time. Here, I can click on the button to the right of end time to capture the end of my redaction. Let me play the audio and show you. Nine one one. What is your emergency? I don't have an emergency. I just want to report a theft. Okay. May I have your name, sir? Start. Uh, yeah. My name is Travis. Kent. End. And click mute to confirm. You can see that the redaction popped up in my audio wave. The second way to manually redact audio is the press and hold feature. Here, I'm going to press down the button with the mouse for the duration of the redaction. Let me click and play. Where did this theft occur? Uh, at my house. Okay, and what is your address, sir? I live at 1941 Press, Pearl Harbor Street. and I'm holding. Street. Okay, that's 1941 Pearl Harbor Street. Release and Correct. click bleep to confirm. You can see it in the audio wave and that it is a different color than the mute. The green is mute and the orange is bleep. Third, I can manually input my start and end time, clicking on the mute to confirm. Finally, you can manually redact audio by highlighting a portion of the audio wave bar and right-clicking to apply an audio redaction. Now, let's go back and check our work. Okay, may I have your name, sir? Uh, yeah, my name And where did this Great. step occur? Great, we caught his name. Uh, at my house. Okay, and what is your address, sir? I live at 9... So I didn't capture his entire address. That's okay. In CaseGuard Studio, you can adjust your redactions by making them larger or smaller in the audio wave. Let me go back and make sure I got it. Okay, and what is your address, sir? In the editing version, you will hear a mute instead of a bleep. When the file is exported, the Correct. bleep will be heard. Okay, what's the best way to contact you? Uh, my cell phone. Uh, the number is 555. I didn't capture the start of his phone number. Now, let me make this a little bit larger, go back, and confirm. Uh, the number Great, I got it. I want to change the voice of the person speaking at the start of the audio so that you can see. As you can tell, the change voice is a different color than the mute or the bleep. On the top right of my workspace, I'm going to click the blue export button and click export. Let me select the redacted file and play it so you can hear the difference between editing mode and the final exported video. Nine one one. What is your? You emergency? can tell that the voice has changed. I don't have an emergency. I just want to report a theft. Okay. May I have your name, sir? Uh, yeah. My name. That's where we muted his name. And where did this theft occur? Uh, at my house. Okay. And what is your address, sir? And that's where we bleeped his address. Correct. Okay, what's the best way to contact you? Uh, my cell phone. Uh, the 
and this is where we muted his phone number. What was stolen, Mr. Kent? Uh, my wallet. Besides your wallet, was there anything else of value taken? And this is where we muted the rest of the audio. To locate the files on your machine, select the Open Project folder in your Project Files panel. Here it is. Remember, you can always make edits to your audio file by clicking on the original file in CaseGuard Studio. Edit, adjust, and export your redacted file when you are finished. That's all I have for you today. In this video, we learned how to manually redact audio files in CaseGuard Studio in four different ways. Capture start and end time, manually inputting the time, press and hold, and highlighting the audio wave bar. In the next video, I will cover automatic audio redactions. See you there!